Did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen. Please, sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You? are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding, of understanding guide, us. Guide, us. guide us. Wait, what? You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus.
working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You've sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. You put all that work into the database and helped me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands of years. A completely different language and culture. Possessed of an intelligence vastly superior to our own. We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about that myself. I get the sense Juno and Minerva didn't exactly see eye to eye. I'm studying everything I can get my hands on, but maybe you'll find something down here that can shed light on the mystery. What happened between them, and why? Yes. Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. <sighs> you are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Let's just get back to work, okay? Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I would say it's a counter. And judging from the iconography, I think it's safe to say when that's emptied, the end begins. Hello, Desmond. How's things? Same old. Another day, another ancestor. Who would have thought you'd have a Templar in your family tree? I think he started out as an assassin. They must have turned him. Right you are, in fact. I've been reviewing our archives, and it appears that Haytham's father was indeed an assassin. Which means he was likely one too, at least for a little while. What else did you find? That fellow from the opera. into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. 